Hello, dear friends. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, we are going to have a quick look at uh, Process Advisor. Uh, you see this option here in um, uh, Power Automate uh, Center, uh, which is called Process Advisor. And here we can create a new process or, um, you know, see the existing processes so what's process advisor is all about let's have a quick look at official microsoft documentation so basically process advisor is used for tasks mining and process mining right and um, it can help us improve things uh, you see detect not compliant processes, uh, check the time, how long it takes for the process to run. Uh, regarding licensing, it's included in standard uh, Power Automate user license. And for prerequisites, we have to have the Dataverse database and also a, an environment, uh, Dataverse environment. Uh, these things you can check out in, in some of my previous videos, but uh, it's, uh, it's not hard to set up. There is a default environment that we can use, and for the database, normally the limit is 2 gigabytes, which is created by uh, default. So uh, let's have a quick look here what we have. So when we create a new process, right, there is a, an option to create a process or to add in a recording, right? So this option right here, this is basically um, a, something that we can record. Well, you see, I don't have anything here, but basically you have to download Power Automate Desktop, then record the steps that your user would normally take for the process right to to complete the process and then you can upload this here to analyze um, another option here is to create a new process uh, by uh, using the either recordings right so we can record the steps or uh, data preview and for the data for the data preview we have an option right there is a option to download Microsoft data and also so basically if we have a process described in any of these formats you can see on the screen it's either in a database and JSON PDF etc so different file formats are acceptable then we can upload it and then uh, the file will be passed to the data lake um, in the process uh, analysis here so I can show you a quick example of one of the existing processes I have, right? Um, you see the source comes here as a data lake, so it gets uploaded to, to an Azure data lake um, underneath. And um, the status of the process after it's been analyzed, uh, the status changes here. Uh, I can see the details and see the analytics. So let me check on the details. And the details, I see that this was a flow, you know, Power Automate flow. And it ran only for created and analyzed for three minutes or so. Because it's just uh, some sample Microsoft data I uploaded. Uh, there is, a, let's see, analytics. What do we have here? Under analytics, I should be able to see um, Power BI dashboard with uh, some steps. Yeah, so you see here we have some filters on top. Then we have the actual, you know, process uh, diagram with the uh, steps, like the process start and then some uh, some actions. Right, activities, this is activity, this activity, some go in parallel, uh, you know, and then we come to the end. Um, it, uh, you see, basically we just see uh, different activities that helps us see how the process is working. Also, we can see the process time, the duration of the process, right, some variates, we can filter, for example, 
and this specific process is, was just taken from a simple Microsoft CSV file. We can filter based on a specific person. Let's say we want to see what for Casey, then it gets updated. Uh, so basically this part here and also the cases variants get updated. Uh, there is a filter based on dates, units, activities, right? So that gives you a, an idea. So it's like a visual representation of a process that you have. And of course you can use it to improve your process, right? Based on this. So it's kind of a AI capability, intelligent analysis of a process that you have in your company. That uh, looks pretty cool. So that's it for today. Thank you for watching. Have a great day and stay healthy. Bye-bye.